Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, suffered a rather embarrassing moment when she and William lived in Anglesey in North Wales at the beginning of their marriage, according to an unearthed report. On Tuesday, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge undertook a series of visits in Wales to mark St. David's Day, the country's patron saint. The visit saw them return to the nation where they first settled down as a married couple. After their wedding in 2011, the couple first settled down as newlyweds in Anglesey due to the Duke's work with the RAF search rescue. Shortly after their royal wedding, the couple rented a farmhouse near the seaside resort of Rorsnager in Anglesey. At the time, Prince William was working as a search and rescue pilot at nearby RAF Valley. During their tenure in North Wales, Kate was often spotted visiting shops in the area including the local Waitrose supermarket and other shops. The Duchess also frequented a water sports shop near her home. And on one trip to the shop, called Fun Sport, Kate suffered a rather embarrassing moment, and gave the shopkeeper, who didn't recognize her, a secret name. Kate was visiting to buy a wetsuit but was left red-faced when she realized she had forgotten her purse. The shopkeeper Dave Buckland, known locally as Bucky, was oblivious to who Kate was, and asked for her name after the Duchess asked if she could reserve the wetsuit to collect at a later time. According to the Mail on Sunday, the name the Duchess provided was Mrs. Cambridge. Despite this, she was still able to go unrecognized as the owner of the beachside shop in the tiny Anglesey resort of Rorsnegger failed to identify her. An unnamed source told the newspaper back in 2012, he was looking straight at her and actually commented that it was quite an unusual surname. He hadn't a clue who she was. She just smiled and said she'd be back. He hasn't lived it down since. Despite Mr. Buckland remaining none the wiser to his royal customer, other staff in the store at the time did recognize the Duchess and told him who he'd missed. Another shop owner in the area, Glenn Seddon said the Duchess had bought cushions from him earlier that summer. He said, you don't always recognize her at first. I have heard the wetsuit story. I just find it hard to believe she arrived without any money. However, it is in keeping with certain royal traditions, as the Queen famously never carries any cash. According to reports, the monarch only ever carries money on Sundays for a church donation. The resurfaced story of Kate's embarrassing blunder in Wales comes amid the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's joint day of engagements in the country. The couple visited both Abergavenny and Blynavon to learn about the importance of the agricultural industry for rural communities. The first stop on their agenda was Pan Farm, a goat farm near Abergavenny, which has been providing milk to a local cheese producer for nearly 20 years. While speaking with the farm owners, Kate and William were able to cuddle and pet the animals, and one excitable goat bit at the Duchess sleeves. The Cambridges then left the farm to head to Abergavenny Market where they were welcomed by a cheering crowd. Among the crowds were 90 pupils from the local Cantref Primary School who sang for the royal visitors. To tie up their busy day, their royal highnesses then visited a youth club at Blynavon HWB in Blynavon and played a game of pool. During their visit to the community-focused youth centre, Kate also cast her eye over William's attempts to make Welsh cakes, a local delicacy. The future king told the young people watching, do not judge my cooking before the Duchess went over to help flip the cakes on the griddle while chatting with one of the local teenagers the centre helps.